Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how we can import an XML file to PostgreSQL. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. Recently I got a question from one of my subscribers, Lucky Singh, and he asked like how to import the XML file to PostgreSQL. So I told him that we can import the XML file to PostgreSQL very easily using SSIS but the other methods that I tried to find on internet they were kind of tricky and there was no straightforward method so I thought to make a video on this one because it might be helpful for others as well so let's jump to the demo in my d files location I got an xml file sellers.xml and if I show you the data what kind of data it contains so it's an xml file and it contains person's id their first name last name email and gender information so this kind of information it contains and this file contains 1000 records as you can see that the id is 1000 all right so let me close it and now we will be importing this particular file to the postgresql database so i have this pg admin 4 tool and i have installed the postgresql so maybe let me just right click and open the query tool here and let me show you like what kind of version this postgresql database is select version so you can see that it's postgresql 14.2 and if i expand the testing database and if i expand schemas and if i expand the table so right now i have only one table employee table all right i don't have any other table as of now so we will be importing the data from the xml file to the one of the table i have already written the create table statement here for the sellers table like we got id first name last name email and gender information here so i can simply copy this particular create table statement and i can paste it here and can execute it and i will share this create table statement with you as well so that you can use it in your environment as well if you want so now i can refresh the tables and now we got the sellers table as well on the postgresql in the uh, testing database all right now the next method is that to create the SSIS for this one we need to download the ODBC drivers okay so from this particular link postgresql.org I will share this link with you you can just scroll down and you can just download the most recent drivers from here so at the moment the most recent drivers are this one a uh, 1302x64 and x86 you can just simply download this particular file extract it and then install it they are very straightforward i already downloaded and installed them so i just downloaded them here okay and then extracted this one so we got an msi file which which you can just simply double click and install it and similarly for the 64 bit version you can just go to this folder x64 and then you can just install this msi as well so you can just download both the file 32 bit and 64 bit and you can install them so as soon as you will install these two files the last two one this one uh, x64 x86 for the 1302 then you should be good to use the odbc drivers now the very important option is that you need to open the administrative windows administrative tools and now you need to right click on the ODBC data sources 32 bit right click on it and click on open now we need to create a user DSN so you need to click on add and now you can just scroll down and there is an option that PostgreSQL Unicode so you can just simply click on finish and then the database name is testing so I can write testing here the server name I can write localhost the username is postgres and port is 5432 and then I can give the password of the user and then I can click on test connection so the connection is successful so that's good I can click save so you can see that a user DSN postgres SQL 35w has been added here and now I can click ok this seems good now let me just open the SSIS package so this is my visual studio 2019 let me create a new project here integration services project next and then i can give the location where i want to create my project uh, click create so this will create a blank project for you ssis project where you can write your code to import the xml file into a postgresql table because we are going to migrate the data so we will be using a data flow task so you can just drag and drop the data flow task from ssis toolbox to the control flow window 
and now you can just double click data flow task because our source is an XML file so we got an XML source here so you can just drag and drop the XML source into the data flow task and now right click and configure the XML source you need to browse the file the file that you want to import so this is our sellers.xml file I can click open and now we need to generate the XSD here this will select the default location you can just simply click on save and now you need to click on columns so you can click ok so these are the columns in the XML file ID, first name, last name, email and gender so you can click ok now because we are going to write the data into the PostgreSQL database so we will be using the ODBC destination in the common task there is an ODBC destination so you can just drag and drop the ODBC destination to the data flow task now you can connect the XML source with the ODBC destination now right click ODBC destination and click on edit now you can click on new to create a new connection and then now click on new again if you scroll down so you will find the user DSN that you created in the last step so we will select this PostgreSQL 35W and then you can click on test connection so the connection is succeeded so that's good you can click ok 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 now in the data access mode there are two options table name row by row or table name batch so we will select the batch because it will insert the data quickly now we can select the name of the table or view from this drop down so our table name is seller so you will select public.sellers from here and then we can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this seems good all columns are mapped here correctly and now I can click ok so our SSIS package is ready to be run and to execute the SSIS package you can click on the start button and this should import the data from an XML file to the PostgreSQL table so you can see that 1000 records have been imported to the PostgreSQL table so I can go back to the pgadmin4 tool and uh, I can just simply select the data from the sellers table view data all rows so you can see that 1000 rows affected and we got the data imported correctly into the PostgreSQL table so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video Thank you so much.